What's up guys, on today's episode we're going to take this old crusty warehouse that's got tons of crap piled up and actually make it the warehouse. We have officially got everything moved out of my storage unit complex and we've got all of it here. Well, I'm going to say most of it because I've still got some stuff uh, at my buddy Levi's place, at uh, my mom's house, at my personal house. I've still got some odds and ends stuff that I need to bring here, but for the most part, everything is here. So uh, now that we have the space to move and work, uh, let's try to put things where they belong because right now, you know, I moved out in kind of a rush. I want to go ahead and get it done. Um, so I've just got things piled up all over the place. So we're going to make special corners for lighting, for sound, for everything else, um, and just try to make it the warehouse space that I've always wanted. Alright, so first things first, we're going to start with the bigger stuff and kind of put it back here in this corner. I've got a pair of Genie lifts, uh, the big tower lifts that we used to lift up PA or lighting or whatever uh, whenever you don't have motor access or motor control. Um, they're big, they're heavy, they're awkward, they don't go out that much, so I think this back corner is the best spot for them. Along this wall here, I plan on putting up some lighting, and then on this back wall, I've got some shelves um, that I just use for general stuff, and then uh, we'll worry about audio. Let's get started. So I think I kind of got um, what I want to do or the layout I want to do it. Uh, at my other shop, I had speakers, uh, mainly the powered stuff on one of these racks. And then on this other rack here, I just had a bunch of lighting and various, uh, let me tilt you guys up. <coughs> I just had a bunch of lighting and various pretty much storage stuff. But if we look over here, up there at the top, I'm going to try to utilize some of that space as some storage space. Um, I'm not sure how much weight it's going to bear, but uh, I will find out. If it can't bear any weight, that's fine. I've got plenty of room now. That's the good thing about this shop. Um, but yeah, so speakers, lighting, and then uh, we'll get back to it. I get asked all the time, are the EKX uh, series from Eevee still my go-to? And the overwhelming answer is yes. Probably one of the best speakers in the market for the budget. Uh, they're fantastic. They're a wooden enclosure. Uh, go look at my review. It'll say everything. again. Alright, so as you can see, I have most of my lighting kind of positioned here. Um, you know, what I'm going to do, the good thing about this space is there's so much space in between these cases, I'm probably going to take some gaffer's tape and uh, put outlines out of all the cases, and that way I can write in the square and when my help is helping me unload the truck or trailer, uh, they just know exactly where to push it. Uh, in next week's video, probably, you're going to get a tour of all these lights, what they are, how much they cost, um, and where you can get them. Uh, shameless plug, you can probably get most of them from me. Anyway, uh, let's move to the next wall. And focus on speakers. So as you can see, I've got uh, subwoofers stacked here, and this is my VRX rig. There's 10 boxes there. Um, 
There's these are JBL SRX uh, 828s. These are STX 828s, and then these guys over here are M uh, MRX 528s. Don't worry about those. Those are getting sold. Uh, but I traded all of this, uh, these six speakers, for my four QRX double 18s that I had. All right, so it's a new day, new shirt, and I didn't finish explaining what I wanted to get done. Um, so I sold six, or I sold four woofers to get six woofers just because they're JBL. Um, you know, whenever you're trying to do these bigger jobs and, you know, you're getting more into production and you got to meet riders and things of that nature, it's always best to have matching equipment. If you've got JBL mains, you want JBL subs. If you've got EV mains, you want EV subs. Um, there's some circumstances where you got like really high and audio like uh, Nexo and L Acoustics and DAS and stuff like that where you can kind of mix and match things um, if you're if you got a higher end product um, but I would definitely recommend if you've got a JBL rig uh, make it a JBL rig um, if you've got an EV rig make it an EV rig so um, that's why I sold my four QRX and got the JBL subs in return so I got two pair of the SR or I got a pair of the SRX a pair of the STX and a pair of the MTX or the MRX MRX are sold the STX I'm going to buy another set of and then the SRX I'm going to use as as my B rig so I'll have a four box over two hang and a two box over one hang uh, I'll explain what that means here in a later video but just kind of looking around I was able to get a lot accomplished before I had to stop um, I've still got a lot to do obviously I've got some stuff that I want to hang up there probably hang some uh, some par bars which you see um, down there I need to get those up and out of the way Probably going to hang them from that banister there. Probably going to leave truss there. Utility trunks. As you can see, I got my workbench set up. Uh, paints, tools, wire and stuff. I still got a lot of stuff to organize on top. These uh, these shelves that came with the space came, really, came in really handy. I was able to put nuts and bolts and screws and just various odds and ends. Some tools, electrical stuff, uh, organized. Just It makes it so much easier. I'm probably going to use this space right here uh, and hang my pegboard so I've got some stuff that can be kind of up and out of the way over the subs. I'm not real certain if that's where I'm going to keep them, especially after I add on to these and put them on dollies. I just, I'm probably going to get those out of the way. I, I'm not sure where though. The coolest thing though is I was able to get all this stuff kind of out of the way. I can pull my truck in. Um, you know, this stuff still needs some organizing. And I've just got random stuff kind of piled up. Uh, workbox, tool cart, and utility trunk. So I'll be going through this and organizing more um, here in the next couple days. So that's where we're going to stop on the shop organization today. Uh, like I said, I've got a pretty big job that I'm working on currently uh, for a college doing some laser projection stuff for their spring musical. Um, so my entire week is probably dedicated over there. Uh, when we get back next week, I'm, uh, we're going to start the renovation process in the office. Uh, I'm going to try to get this finally organized, do a, a shop tour for you guys. Got dust in my face. Um, do a shop tour for you guys open up the cases and let you see what I got listed out, not only for your, you know, your benefit, but for my benefit too. I got new insurance, so uh, I need to know what I got on file here. Um, also going to be ordering some security cameras and things of that nature, so you'll be able to see me install that stuff. Uh, I'm really just trying to document this entire process, so as much content as I can get to you guys, I think would be beneficial for the both of us. So, until next time, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I promise I promise you I am back. Um, also, while you hit the subscribe button, turn on the notifications. That way you are notified every time I post a video. Uh, for the guys who are subscribed, thank you so much for sticking around. I know the content has been a little inconsistent as of lately, but right now um, I am fully dedicated to bringing you guys along on the process of starting this new shop space and growing my business. So until next time, I appreciate you watching. We'll see you later.